It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Clark Keller, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hart. Looking at the Lakers, they took the win in their last game against the Jams. That was an impressive defensive performance. The athleticism, the intensity, the energy really shutting their opponent down. And Steve, that was reflected in their block total. I mean, they were extremely disruptive. Equal parts hustle, muscle, and smarts. Look at the 76ers starting group. Robert Covington out there with Nerlens Noel. Then it's Michael Carter-Williams. Then there's Jackson. And it's Embiid in at the five. Home in the paint. And he uses the glass on the layup. And he's on the board early. The first to strike there. Nice hoop. Here's Clarkson. Carter Williams covering. Davis sets a screen. Davis setting the pick for Bryant to the wing on the left. Five to shoot. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's that's not a good sign. Kobe Bryant in his 19th season in the league. But remember, he's played in 220 career playoff games. That's almost three additional seasons worth of games. Then you factor in his play with Team USA. i say he's got a lot of mileage on those legs. Here's Clarkson. He dishes it to Davis. To the inside. And fouled hard at that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, Kobe has always had an alpha personality, but I don't think he came into the league as a natural leader. He was more of a loner, and as his career has worn on, he's realized the need to really engage his teammates for the good of the team. And Kobe Bryant, I think we've noticed, becoming less guarded in interviews, seems to be a little more open and forthcoming and authentic. And I think that's helped him express his personality, both with teammates and the public, and I find it to be kind of refreshing and a good thing. And Kobe drops them both. And Kobe Steve, one of the most intense competitors the league has seen. Sometimes that intensity, though, can rub teammates the wrong way. Well, the great ones always challenge their teammates to be at their best. And uh, sometimes, you know, it can go overboard. I think the challenge for Kobe is to figure out you know, his new teammates, what makes them tick, and, and make sure he, he pushes the right buttons. The 76ers shooting their first free throw tonight. That's good from Jackson. The Los Angeles Lakers, the NBA's most successful franchise over the last three decades since 1980. Ten guys count them. Ten titles. That's remarkable. And they've led the way from a business standpoint as well, Kevin. They, they pioneered televising their home games where some teams have worried about undercutting ticket sales. Uh, a lot of great ideas and, and, and dynamics that have helped this franchise become what it is. They grabbed their own miss. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got his first two points of the night. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill the team. Now here's Noel. He picked up 12 points in their last win against New York. Here's Carter Williams. It's blocked. An even three on three break. It's stolen. It's Jackson with the drive. Covington. There's Noel. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Wesley Johnson's checked in for Los Angeles. And, you know, for the Lakers, no competition from football. There's not a football pro football team in the L.A. market. It's one of the top two markets in the country. And it is a basketball town. You look at their TV deal, which is really mind-boggling. It's worth about $3.6 billion over 20 years. That gives you a lot of financial firepower there. 
Now here's Kobe. He had 31 points in the win against Utah. And Kevin, don't forget about his playmaking in that game as well. He was wonderful in terms of attacking the defense and figuring out when to shoot and when to find teammates. Jackson setting the pick here for Carter Williams. Passes to Covington. Carter Williams with it. A 14-point game for him in the win against New York. Well, he was aggressive at both ends of the floor. He had three steals in that game, remember? Yes, yeah. No good there off the double clutch. Well, guys, you look at the financial resources for the Lakers. Not the same advantage that it once was because with the most recent CBA, uh, it's really restricted spending. And the question is, how will that impact the Lakers moving forward? Now here's Bryant. He's got six. Just three to shoot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Wes Johnson, the former number four pick back in 2010. He was a bust in Minnesota, but he shot better in his fourth season. And once he was moved to kind of a, a small four, like the shooting power forward spot, uh, he really found a niche for himself. And Wesley Johnson has always been impressive physically. Great size, terrific length for a wing. Quick off the floor. Yeah, he's got all of those ingredients, but his ball handling has been a bit mediocre, rather pedestrian, and I think that's held him back offensively. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Take a look at what Kobe's done. He's already got eight points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. And it's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. Philadelphia shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. First free throw is good. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Clarkson kicks to Bryant. Davis the pass to Johnson. There's the dish to Randall. Pass to Clarkson. Down low. Here's Johnson. And again, no good by the Lakers. It's like he's just trying to showcase his range, but he could probably get a better shot in that possession. Yeah, he sure could. It doesn't do you any good if you miss it from that deep. And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. The Lakers trail. Here's Clarkson. Nine points, last game out. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over. Oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Now here's Carter Williams. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams, and he gets it to go. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. For Los Angeles, they've gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Davis with a screen on Jackson. The drive by Bryant. No good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. Well, they benefited from some very loose play from their opponents that night, Clark. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, there were a lot of turnovers in that game. Some were caused by their good defensive play, but some were just careless. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. 
Shoots from the corner. Up again. And Randall throws it down. Showing us a little force on that putback, Kev. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Now, you got to love his positioning. As the shot went up, he anticipated that play. Now, here's Carter Williams. Averaging 16 points a game. And it's Noel missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4-10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Now Bryant, eight points for him. Here's Clarkson. And no good, and a chance to take the lead. The 76ers lead it. Covington dishes to Carter Williams. To the paint. Goes back up. And Davis pulls it down. LA's gone 0-2 from deep here. Here's Clarkson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Kobe passes to Davis. They now take the lead. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, they faced each other twice last season, and they split those two games in what really wasn't a season to remember for either team. The 76ers making a switch here. Sims is checked in. And here is Carter Williams. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to talk with Brett Brown for a moment. Dictating the pace and making sure that pace is up tempo is what he's hoping they can do in this one. He said, we're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it, too. Thanks again, Doris. Now here's Carter Williams. And pushing it out, here's Los Angeles. Bryant's running. Steve referenced the series between these teams a year ago, and Clark, it's, it's a good thing they matched up well against each other because they didn't match up well with too many other teams. Well, that's exactly right, <laughs> Kevin. I mean, we don't mean to make light of it, but the reality is neither one of them gave opponents very much resistance or too many problems. It was really a down year for both teams. Tough seasons, you're right. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, they've just been an ordinary team in terms of free throw shooting this year, guys, about 75%. And guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. Boozer, he's checked in for the Lakers. Hill comes in for Randall. Then for the 76ers, Mbamute's checked in for Nerlens Noel. And it's Richardson in for Robert Covington. And Johnson drops them both. The 76ers trail by three. Jackson kicks to Sims. There's the pick. Richardson against Johnson. Here's Jackson. The offensive rebound. And Baamute loses to Jackson. Hill against Baamute. The drive by Jackson. Lakers leading by three. Right side, Bryant. Clarkson passes to Johnson. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the basket by Hill. Sixers head coach Brett Brown used to coach in the Australian League. Also the former head coach of the Australian national team. So a wealth of experience in international basketball. Now here's Jackson. And he just worked New York in that last game. Richardson against Johnson. That's good. Lakers have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. Kobe kicks to Clarkson. He feeds it to Johnson. Right side, Boozer. There's the block. And he recovers it. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by five. The 76ers shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Jackson kicks to Carter Williams. There's the feed to Richardson. Just five on the clock. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Jackson gets the bucket. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. 
I mean, that's just in. Lakers have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Kobe kicks to Boozer. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And so here is Philadelphia. Trailing by four. Checks and dishes to Sims. A rebound by the Lakers. Boozer's got three rebounds so far in the game. Right from the start, they've been aggressive on the glass. Most of the rebounds seem to be going their way. And Steve, I think they are ready for the fight today. The three from Johnson. No luck. And the 76ers go the other way with it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. That is his first foul of the game. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Clarkson. And the 76ers also making a change. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Michael Carter-Williams. The 76ers trail by four. And here's Jackson. He has six. Kicks to Crawford. Back to Jackson. Uncovered. And the jumper falls for him. Jackson's got eight. And a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Lynn the pass to Bryant. Back to Lynn. Dishes to Johnson. Pass to Kobe. Six to shoot. And it's Johnson penetrating. Stolen by Jackson. Here's a Sims. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, he earned that one. Took the hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. Blacks checked in for the Lakers. And the 76ers also making a change. Thompson's checked in. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The Lakers shooting 47% here so far. Outside, Lynn. Now the pass to Black. 107 left in the first. Offensive rebound on the wing, Kobe. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Kobe's got 10 points in the game. Steve, they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, it's impressive, too. Clark's already gotten them a plus five margin in the rebound column. Now, here's Thompson. Here's Crawford. Some solid defense from Kobe. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Richardson against Lynn. And stolen by Richardson. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's Crawford with the three. Crawford missing again. The Lakers in the lead. Ryan in the post. That's good. Ryan's got 12 points in the game. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. It's Crawford with the drive. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The 76ers have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. First one falls for him. Los Angeles making a switch here. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Here's Lynn. No good. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Lakers lead by one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment.
much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, Clark and Steve, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Now the key has been the rebounding department. This club dominating the paint area. And if this continues, they'll be in great shape. Well, they've done two things. They've limited second chances, and they've been able to flex their muscle down low. shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Philadelphia. We've got Robert Covington, Henry Sims out there with Noel. Then it's Hollis Thompson and it's Crawford at the two spot. On the night he's gone two for two at the strike. And on the year, he's shooting a, an average number at the line, about 73%. And it's really baffling. I don't know how he lost his touch at the line so dramatically, guys. I mean, and it happened quickly as well. He's nowhere close to what he shot from the line last season. The first free throw is good. Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Well, he could have done a little better on that trip to the foul line, but he was able to tie this game up. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And the Lakers lead by two. The 76ers shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. And Thompson kicks to Covington. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Just five on the clock. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jeremy Lin. That's his first foul. Thompson outside. Here's Covington. Down to five on the shot clock. Misses in close. And here comes the break. Passes it to Black. Clarkson kicks to Honda Takuma. Here's Black. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That one on MB. In front of you now is the list of teams that haven't missed many shots at all since the All-Star break. The Lakers in fifth. Kevin, all shooters need to have good legs. Part two of the season has given these guys fresh legs. The Lakers have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. That free throw missing. And the Lakers making a change here. Kelly's checked in. good on the second free throw. Well, Nerland's Noel's rookie season, essentially a medical redshirt, recovering from ACL surgery in early 2013, so this will be his true rookie season. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, Jeremy Lin knows that an awful lot is expected of him. He said, I'm very young in my career, and because the expectations of Lin's sanity are so big and the shadow is so large, I have to take a step back and remind myself the journey has just begun. 
It can be hard to keep things in perspective, but gentlemen, he's trying to stay grounded. And nobody certainly will ever forget Lynn's sanity, but it would be asking, I think, too much for Lynn to be in that zone all the time. Thank you, Doris. Lynn with it. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Clarkson. Back to Lynn. There's the pick. Inside. Black. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. They'll shoot two. And Nerland's Noel projected as a number one draft pick based on his defensive impact as a freshman Clark at Kentucky. But the knee injury dropped him to number six. Yeah, you're drafting that high. General manager is looking for an immediate impact player in the draft. Concerns about that knee and his slight build caused him to slide. But if he gets healthy and adds some weight to that frame, I think he could be a real presence defensively. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the 76ers. Jackson comes in for Jamal Crawford. And Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Thompson. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Well, Joel Embiid, born in Cameroon, the son of a professional handball player, and he started playing basketball at the age of 16. He's been playing soccer and volleyball, but I'll tell you, his development in the game has been rapid. Here's Andre Takumbo. Nine points last game out. Clarkson kicks to Kelly. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Davis has checked in for Los Angeles. And for Embiid, his countryman and NBA veteran Luke Richard Mbamute spotted him at a camp in Africa. That was the start of it all. Came over to the U.S., didn't play a whole lot in high school, expected to redshirt at Kansas, but ended up starting from day one. And the thing I liked about him was he almost improved, not just game to game. You could see improvement within game. That's with a great Embiid. point. You're right. Now here's Jackson. He's got eight. Now here's Carter Williams. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just two points with that basket from Noel. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Here's Clarkson looking for his first basket still in this one. And he converts the layup. Very tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. And so here is Philadelphia. Following the bucket by the Lakers, Noel sets a screen for Jackson. Carter Williams dishes to Embiid. To the inside. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. And he's shaking off a poor first-quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Ryan, he's checked in for Clarkson. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And they've also been very productive from the foul line, getting there early and often. Now here's Bryant. 12 points for him. Davis, the pass to Kelly. And Bede with the steal. Here's Covington, defended by Lynn. And Bede kicks to Carter Williams. And Bede sets the pick for Carter Williams. Covington dishes to Noel from the baseline. And he gets it to go. Noel's got eight points here in this quarter. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Outside, Lynn. Davis sets a screen. Feeds to Antetokounmpo. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at six. Lynn kicks to Antetokounmpo. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Andre Takumbo's got five now. 
Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. And Philadelphia calls time here. Jeremy Lin really an attack guard. Quick and aggressive, always looking to penetrate and get into the paint. The Lakers making a switch here. Handles checked in. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. He told them they should be dedicating themselves to hitting the offensive glass with everything they've got from now on, even if that means it takes them away from defensive transition. He also went on to say that he wants to see good movement on the perimeter and plays being run to get their outside shooters open. They're not going to wait for halftime. They want those adjustments to have an impact right away. Over to you, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. And he gets it to go. Carter Williams has got his second bucket of the night. And Lynn has really become an explosive athlete. He's put in a lot of work during the offseason to develop his strength and acceleration. On a different level now than when he entered the league out of Harvard, for sure. Now here's Carter Williams following the miss by Kobe Bryant. There's a good screen. Carter Williams, the pass to Covington. Here's Embiid. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Embiid's got six. Clark, a lot of give and take between these sides early. Kevin, how about six lead changes in this half already? Yeah, good one here, guys. This is going to be fun to watch. Two evenly matched teams. Both teams playing hard. Now here's Lynn. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. And for Lynn, like a lot of slashers, Steve, turnovers have been an issue. Yeah, and that aggressiveness can work against him where you know, sometimes he over-penetrates. He's watching a lot of film, trying to learn that balance of when to pass and when to take it all the way to the rim. Here's Covington after the basket by Los Angeles. Now Carter Williams. And the three off target. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's foul number two for him. Wesley Johnson's checked in for the Lakers. Philadelphia also making some changes. Sims is checked in. And Mbaya Mute comes in for Noel. And the Lakers with possession here. They'll be off to Oklahoma City for a meeting with the Thunder after this one. They hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. Davis with a screen on Jackson. Back to Johnson. Outside, Kobe, four on the clock. Here's Randall, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Randall's got his third basket of the night right there. The 76ers trail by three. Carter Williams kicks to Richardson. From past the arc, Randall grabs the board. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. Now here's Bryant. He's got 12. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Kobe's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. The 76ers have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Jackson dishes to Carter Williams. Here's Sims. Here is Mbamute. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. And Bryant kicks to Lynn. Johnson outside. Five to shoot. Fires at the elbow. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Richards in the pass to Mbamute. And here's Jackson. Eight points for him. Another miss by Philadelphia. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. Here's Lynn. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Handle with the ball. 
Johnson sends the screen for Raymond. And it's blocked, but he recovers it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Some changes for the Lakers. Boozer comes in for Davis, and it's Hill in for Randall. Here's Jackson, right now averaging 27 points a game. He kicks to Carter Williams. Now, here's Mbaba Mute. He dishes it to Richardson, trying to get back on track. Bryant with the rebound. Lakers leading by five. That's it fly from 18. That one off the back iron and out. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Carter Williams dishes to Mba Amute. Carter Williams kicks to Sims. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Carter Williams has got three assists in the game. There's the dish to Bryant. Hill, a screen on Jackson. Shot off the pit. And the basket by Kobe. Bryant's got 16 points. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas. And the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Carter Williams kicks to Mba Amute. Outside Jackson. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. Richardson missing again. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Now Lynn, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Hill with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Six to shoot. Johnson from outside. Can't get it to go. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Carter Williams, the pass to Mbamuta. 106 left in the first half. Let's it go from 14. Here's Jackson. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Jackson's got 10 points. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards. Really bringing energy and life to his team. Boozer with a screen for Lynn. He feeds it to Boozer. Back to Lynn. Boozer a screen on Jackson. Bryant drives in. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Jackson. Good on the shot. 26 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Outside, Lynn. Hill against Mbamuta. Hill dishes to Johnson. It's Kobe Bryant on the win. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. And that's 18 points for Kobe Bryant. Here's Jackson. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Los Angeles on top. They lead by three. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kobe, what encourages you and what you've seen from the team's offense? You know, we're playing hard. You know, our bigs are really working tonight. You know, they're really running the floor well. You know, they're rolling to the basket with a purpose. Kobe, appreciate the time as always. Gentlemen? Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of quarter number three. Look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just an explosive uh, offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Davis is out there with Randall, and there's Bryant, and then there's Antetokounmpo, and it's Clarkson in at the one spot. That's Byron Scott's five as we get into the second half. Now here's Randall, six on the shot clock. They get a bet. Davis, soft touch off the glass. Davis has got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Lakers. The 76ers trail by five. 
Well, Ed Davis in his fifth season out of North Carolina, he's had to battle for minutes both in Toronto and Memphis, but has produced when he's been on the court. An active, athletic big man. He's a player to watch. The Lakers shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Davis setting the pick for Kobe. Davis sets a screen. Goes up on the wing. Kobe with the bucket. Kobe's got 20. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to fight over the top of that. Now here's Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Gets the bucket and the foul. It goes on Ed Davis. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. The 76ers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. That's good for Noel. For Los Angeles, they've gone 2 of 3 from the field to start the second half. Davis kicks to Clarkson. And here's Randall. Six points for him. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And that's Takumbo gets it to go. And they need three of their first four shots here to start this half. The 76ers trail by four. Jackson passes to Noel. Inside, Covington. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Over the last ten games, Kevin, you can see where the Lakers rank in the league right now. Fifth in rebounds. Fifth in blocks. And they are in the top ten in field goal percentage. This is a team that shows excellent discipline at the offensive end. And you put all those things together, and that makes this a very tough team. And what really jumps out at me is the rebounds, Clark. I mean, this is a team that, that controls the paint. Uh, if you're going to miss a shot, the ball seems to be theirs almost every time. That allows their transition game to get going. And then at the offensive end, they'll pound you on the offensive glass as well. throw no good you know it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole and far too often that's the case for this team in both free throws. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. Clarkson kicks to Onda Takumba. And there's the feed to Davis. Pass to Clarkson. Outside, Kobe, just five on the clock. Now the pass to Clarkson. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. And it's a seven-point Laker lead. Everything's going right now. Four for five shooting, 80%. They've got their offense clicking. And Bead sets the pick for Carter Williams. Kicks it to Noel. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Nice little lead they're enjoying here, and they deserve it with all the work they put in on the glass. Yeah, big margin for them in the rebounding department. They've completely dominated the boards here. Very porous defense down there by the hoop. He probably should make that one. Carter Williams dishes to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. Here's Covington, guarded by Kobe. Covington passes to Carter Williams. Shot from 12, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Carter Williams has got six. Los Angeles leading by five. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And Kobe, here we go. Randall, Noel with the block. Ryan against Jackson. 
Here's Carter Williams. Six points for him. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And Noel kicks to Carter Williams. Here's Embiid, and that one's good. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. And Philadelphia making a change here. Crawford's checked in. 76ers have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. And that one misses. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 2 from long range in the third quarter so far. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Last season was a tough one for the Bucs, but for the man they call the Greek Freak, it was a great situation. Able to play big minutes and kind of took his lumps early, but he's got a chance to be an excellent player. And the veterans on the team have really embraced Jibo, as they call him. <laughs> yeah, Giannis has a really joyful disposition. He knows he's living his dream. But he's also putting in the work to make his dreams a reality, and you got to love that. Remember, he's lived the hard life growing up in poverty. You sense his determination to continue to overcome, and that attitude always serves you well. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The 76ers trail by five. Carter Williams dishes to Noel. Pass to Crawford. There's the three. And they will call over the back on the play. And that fourth foul might force him to scale back the aggression defensively a little bit. He does not want to pick up number five. Thompson, he's checked in for Carter Williams. Lakers leading by five. Clarkson kicks to Kobe. Outside, Davis. Dishes to Antetokounmpo. Pass to Clarkson. Fires the three. That's good. Clarkson's got eight points. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes, uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. They set the pick. Crawford, no one around him. Crawford missing again. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. And Bryant kicks to Honda Takumba. Davis sets a screen. Out left to the wing. Lock at six. Honda Takumbo passes to Davis. Lakers passing it around. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. And Philadelphia calls time here. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. We need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. Wax checked in for Davis. And now here's a quick peek at the best rookie free throw shooters over the course of the past month. And you look at Jackson, second in the NBA. So great from the line. And of course, Joel Embiid. Well, they're both fundamentally sound, or at least they were in the past month. And I think their success at the free throw line is a part of that. Yeah, and I say taking care of business from the charity strike, not going to be a concern for either one of them. Now here's Crawford, averaging six points per contest. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. A moment here to take a look at some stats for Kobe Bryant. He's right around 25 points a night, six rebounds, and five assists. And the numbers are pretty outstanding. I mean, we've come to expect it from him. Well, he always impresses, Steve, with the work ethic, stamina, consistency. It's what the best players strive for and produce. one at the line is good. Both 
free throws. Good from Crawford. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old school traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. Covington dishes to Embiid. Now here's Randall, guarded closer. Clarkson kicks to Kobe. Clarkson passes to Onda Takumbo. There's the pick. Fourteen feet away, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Thompson outside. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Randall's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Sixers coach Brett Brown, for 12 years, an assistant with the Spurs. Coach Popovich said he, quote, lives and breathes the game. Fellow Spurs alum, Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer said he fits Philly because he's blue-collar and he's a tough dude. He's demanding, but players love and respect him. Kevin? The perfect guy to rebuild their foundation indeed. Doris, thank you. Here is Bryant following the score by Jamal Crawford. They set the pick. Up off the screen and the slam dunk by Andrew Takumbo. Well, that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set, did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Randall, and it's Jeremy Lin in for Kobe. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Sims is checked in, and Bahamute comes in for Noel. Jason Richardson is checked in for Robert Covington, and it's Jackson in for Thompson. And Philadelphia has possession, following the bucket by the Lakers. He's given them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. Lynn. And Bahamute with the steal. Richardson with it. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Deep two from Crawford. The 76ers with another miss. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. And that one good from Clarkson. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. And Philadelphia calls time here. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them. And they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for the Lakers. Johnson comes in for Andy Takumbo. Los Angeles on D. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Sims dishes to Jackson. Shot is blocked. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead, no question. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Lions checked in. The 76ers trailed by 11. Crawford kicks to Richardson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly. Richardson's got his second bucket of the night. L.A. has gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter. Going four of five shooting. Hill a screen on Jackson. Here's Clarkson. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Clarkson's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. Philadelphia's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Outside Jackson to the inside. Wrong. Here's Clarkson. 12 points for him. Pick up by Hill. Clarkson kicks to Hill. Pass to Clarkson. Six to shoot. 
Up top, Kobe. Richardson cover. And that is good. 22 points for Kobe Bryant. Kobe getting it done. Just a gorgeous shot that time. Crawford kicks to Jackson. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Hill is screen on Jackson. Here's Clarkson. It's hauled in by the 76ers. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. And you know for the Kings, that's a game they'd really like to have. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Here's Clarkson, right now averaging seven points a game. 136 left to play here in the third. They get it back. Here's Hill, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Hill's got his second bucket of the game to go. Jackson kicks to Richardson. Feeds it to Crawford. Outside Jackson. Jackson missing again. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Now here's Jackson. 16 points for him. A three. That one goes. Come. Jackson's got seven points for the quarter. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. Hill is screen on Jackson. Clarkson passes to Hill. Outside, Bryant. He kicks it to Boozer. The jump hook again, Los Angeles. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Crawford outside. He dishes it to Mba Amute. No good from 11 feet. Here's Clarkson. No good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lakers lead by 12. And what? The 76ers trail by 12. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Otter Williams and Jay Rich in the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Nerlens Noel. And it's Sims in at the five. How huge has he been giving his team the lift? Without his work offensively, Steve, I don't know where they'd be. Shooting at great efficiency. I don't think they'd have a chance without him. Now here's Boozer. And Bryant kicks to Clarkson. Hill trying to break free. Drills for three-pointer. Clarkson's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. He's really done a nice job taking advantage of his opportunities in this half. Now here's Carter Williams. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, yeah, he has not established position. You know, I prefer the ref to whistle with a block when in doubt. I thought that was a good call there. And Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Randall comes in for Jordan Hill. Here's Covington. Shot clock at six. Here's Richardson. And he gets the bucket. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Clarkson passes to Bryant. Here's Ahmed Takumbo. Outside, Kobe. And the pass to Clarkson. Lock at six. From the arc. Ahmed Takumbo can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by 11. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Carter Williams dishes to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. 
He tries for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Here's Clarkson. It is now to Davis. To the inside. At the teardrop, and it's Bryant missing. 76ers have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Carter Williams with the bucket. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Clarkson kicks to Kobe. He feeds it to Antetokounmpo. Here's Randall. No good off the back of the rim. The 76ers trail by six. Kobe with the steal. And here's the fast break. Kobe Bryant leading the way. Finished off the break. Kobe's got 24. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Now here's Noel. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Just five to shoot. A three ball. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Lakers leading by eight. Bryant passes to Davis. Back to Bryant. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, we all know the Lakers in transition. Ownership passed down to the next generation in early 2013. And for the first time in L.A., Clark, a bit of uncertainty in that leadership situation. Yep, a few cracks starting to show their partner, Laker great Magic Johnson, airing his concerns with some of the decision-making. Disharmony, not quite sure of who's going to run things, and injuries as well, and just a lot didn't go the way the Lakers had hoped or wanted it to. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And when you look at the Lakers, they say that second-generation businesses have a high failure rate. Only time will tell if they can continue the remarkable winning streak this team has enjoyed through the years. Now here's Carter Williams. The feed to Covington. Down low. There's Noel. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact in. It goes on Ed Davis. And, and, you know, for the Lakers with the harder cap, they can't outspend like they used to. With the Internet, players like Durant don't need to be in a big market to get exposure like it was in days past. So the Lakers will need to outsmart other teams to continue their success. And he knocks down the first one. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for Noel. He's got 10 rebounds and also a block shot. Well, his offense has matched his defense today. He's been excellent on both ends. Steve, exactly right. You can't say enough about the overall job he's been doing. All three throws good from Noel. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Kobe kicks to Clarkson. Kobe dishes to Antetokounmpo. Passes it to Clarkson. Feeds it to Bryant. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Clarkson. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Covington. The 76ers trail by eight. Carter Williams kicks to Richardson. Dishes to Covington. Back to Richardson. from 14 and he overshot that one missing Lakers leading by eight on that Takumbo passes to Clarkson kicks it to onto Takumbo Davis sets a screen pass to on Takumbo here's Clarkson there's the three and that one's good Clarkson's got six in the quarter they've been splashing home those three since halftime definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Now here's Carter Williams. 
Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. He's looking for Noel and finds him. And the baseline jumper, no good. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little better. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. The pass to Davis. The 10 footer. Again, the Lakers. The 76ers trail by 13. Park some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Carter Williams dishes to Covington. Shot is off. And the Lakers take it the other way. Here's on to Takumbo. Again, Los Angeles. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Now here's Noel. And Embiid throws it down. Up high and down hard with the one hand. Got a little extra forceful with that one, didn't he? Yes, you know, sir. I think he's hoping to kind of get his teammates going a little bit, fellas. Here is Bryant. It is now to Antetokounmpo. Davis sets a screen. Just five to shoot. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Jackson, who's checked in for Philadelphia. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Now, it seems to me that they're taking a lot of pride in their rebounding tonight, especially at the offensive end, guys. Now here's Carter Williams. Not a lot of room. Three-pointer. Jackson misses. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Here's Zonde Tagumbo. Davis with it. Now defended by Embiid. It's Davis with the drop. The 76ers have not defended well against Davis. He has nine rebounds and a decent little assist total for him, too. Yeah, he's played really well moving the ball around, and uh, you'd like to see the rest of the team kind of get into that same passing groove that he's in. Falls for Davis. Look at the free throw percentage. Unblemished since halftime, Clark. That's pretty nice. I'd go farther than that, Steve. How about perfect? And he can't hit the second. The 76ers trail by 17. Jackson kicks to Noel. Now, Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Unloads. The Lakers with the rebound. Kobe's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Passes it to Clarkson. Davis sets a screen. The feed now to Randall. Lakers passing it around. Bryant has the open look, and the Lakers with another miss. I tell you what, folks, I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And they're running. Clarkson passes to Onda Dekumbo.
and he sinks the second. Guys, this is the second season since the league returned to a 2-2-1-1-1 finals format. It was a unanimous decision at the time, and I haven't sensed any regrets. The feeling was and continues to be that the top seed deserves to have game five at home. Back to Carter Williams. Lance Sandberg to Jacumbo. And Loda Davis. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And now with uh, Clark, every NBA team flying charter flights travel much less of a concern with that 2 2 one 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 formula. Yeah, and I like that. I like the fact we went back to that. It makes a lot of sense in this day and age. And you don't give an advantage or disadvantage to either team. So very good to go back to that. And with the league showing a willingness to increase travel a little bit uh, for the good of the game, it makes you wonder if you'll see a top 16 interconference playoffs. Again, I've already voiced I'm not in favor of that. But I think it's something that has been discussed at least a little bit. And both free throws good for Davis. Analytics has become a huge part of the NBA, and one element of that that jumps out at me is basically the cameras that track every movement of every player and can provide info on when exactly a player gets tired to how much of their time on the floor they are actually running instead of standing around. On to Takumbo, dishes to Randall, trying to get open as Davis. Randall, no good. The 76ers trail by 20 to the middle. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. Another miss by Philadelphia. And back to the cameras this year talking about some teams using it more than others, but they are starting to find and use all sorts of uh, data, Steve, from those from those cameras. Yeah, it's interesting to, to hear how different teams are, are using that technology. Some teams use it to check on the club spacing. We'll see how many times a guy is dribbling the ball compared to the season before. That's what the Celtics did with Rondo. But it's really interesting. It's a, a tremendous amount of data to process. But the, the trick is, you know, making it work, making it mean something. Philadelphia has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And here is Carter Williams. Next to Covington. To halt the run. The basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got six assists in the game. Los Angeles leading by 20. Kobe kicks to Randall. Pass to Clarkson. He dishes it to Antetokounmpo. Over in the corner, Randall. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Antetokounmpo's got 17 points here in the second half. 76ers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Carter Williams kicks to Covington. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter of this one, and he gets the bucket. There's been a change in this game compared to what we saw in the first half. I and mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Here's Clarkson. Carter Williams covering. Jackson against Kobe. Clarkson passes to Bryant. Onda Takumbo kicks to Davis. From deep three-point range, Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by 20. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a, a true show of strength for the Lakers. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capabilities. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and... On the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. A little bit closer to the win now, and they'll be halfway to a sweep of the season series once they wrap this one up. That's right. It's just a two-gamer since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight.
A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Philadelphia also making some changes. And Baamute's checked in for Noel. Thompson comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Crawford in for Jackson. Carter Williams hits them both. Michael Carter Williams with that rare height at the point guard spot. He's 6'6, long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards is the ability to really survey the court and pass over the top of the defense. Black the pass to Price. And here's Johnson outside. They get it back. Back to Price. Lynn kicks to Price. Johnson outside. He feeds it to Lynn. And here's Price for three. The shot is off. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. And for Carter Williams, great quickness at his height. Clark able to defend smaller players and get by them to penetrate on the other side of the floor. And he needs that, Kevin, because his jump shot is still very much a work in progress. It's not broke, but it's wobbling a little bit. He's got to tighten that thing up going forward. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Crawford outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches, that's how you answer. Price with the ball. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin, thank you. Kobe, obviously a great win. You guys played formidable team defense out there. We did. We did a good job controlling the pace. You know, they made some tough shots from the three-point line. Uh, you know, but all in all, you know, we can live with that. We can live with contested shots from the perimeter. Thank you for the time, sir. Guys, back to you. Doris, thank you as always. And for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now we present the Jordan Player.